How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It's time for another addition to one of your guys' favourite series, Torben Tuesday. If you don't know what Torben Tuesday is, every single month, one week before an update is released, we get given clues as to what's going to be in that update. That is called Torben Tuesday. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at these brand new clues and see if we can figure out what new cars, what new features, or what we're getting in the next update, which is coming out next week. So everything we talk about today could be what we get in next week's update. We know before everyone else. As always, guys, if this video does help you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I try to do my best in Torben Tuesdays. This week is a pretty easy one, if I'm honest. So as you can see on screen, this is what a Torben Tuesday image usually looks like. It's usually an image that contains clues, like on the whiteboard and stuff like that. However, because of the whole coronavirus thing, Playground Games are working from home. So we only get something like this. So the clues for this month are in the text. There's nothing in the image, it's just in the text, and it reads the following. The team is hard at work finishing up series 26. Nothing else to report except for these weird notes. What is this? Band names? And then we get three lines, basically three clues. Not many clues this update, which is update 26, by the way. There's not many clues, but we think we've cracked them. Sometimes the clues could be little riddles or it could be like the year a cow is made and what colour they come in. It could be little clues or riddles to figure out. However, this month for update 26's clues, all three clues are anagrams. Re naval veg error, noble but retry, a pug a jar ice. Those are the three clues and all three of them are anagrams. So let's go over them. The first line, which is the first clue, is re, naval, veg, error. This is an anagram of Range Rover Velar. I'll have a little, little animation thing on screen right now so you can see. It's just a direct anagram of Range Rover Velar. So I'd say it's pretty safe to say that we're getting the Range Rover Velar in the next update, next week. The second clue is noble, but retry. This is a direct anagram of Bentley Turbo R. Another animation on screen right now. It speaks for itself, really. These are some of the easiest clues we've ever gotten. I would say it's safe to say we're getting the Bentley Turbo R next week. The third and final clue is a pug, a jar, ice. This is a direct anagram of the Jaguar I-Pace. Quite an interesting car. I've seen a few people look forward to getting this, as this is an electric car. And it'll be quite an interesting addition, as there's not many electric cars in Forza Horizon 4. And that's pretty much all of the clues. So the Range Rover Velar, the Bentley Turbo R, and the Jaguar I-Pace are all probably coming in next week's update. Now, we will know on Monday if we're getting this or not. Because Monday is the day that we get confirmed you know, right or wrong answers if we're right or not. So that's everything for the clues. However, there is actually still some other stuff we know about the next update next week. So not only are we getting those three new cars, but they are also, in fact, they made a tweet. So I'll read out the tweet now. It says, you've been asking, asking, you've been asking, and this month we're bringing a change to the way cars reset after a flip to give you a better chance to recover. Now, they actually mentioned this last month's update. They mentioned that they were redoing the system of how cars kind of reset after you flip or do a roll. It's going to be a much smoother and more fairer system. This seems like this is also a feature we're getting next week along with these new cars. And the most important thing that people really are looking forward to is the increased garage space. Now, there's no word of if we're actually getting that this week or not. The guy did say it was either going to be this month or next month. They said it was hopefully going to be this month, but so far we've not heard anything about it. It's not been in the clues and they've not tweeted about it. So maybe we'll also get the increased garage space next week as well. But as far as we know, we don't know. So to be honest, that is about as much as we know. This video is very short, but the clues are just so simple and so straightforward. Um, it seems like this is going to be sort of a British themed car update as well, because Bentley, Jaguar and Range Rover are all British 
car manufacturers, like last month we got an Australian one, this month we're getting a British one, a Jag, a Range Rover and a Bentley. Three new cars, the Range Rover Velar, the Bentley Turbo R and the Jaguar I-Pace. We can expect the new and revamped kind of car reset system and possibly the garage space increase. Hopefully, I hope they do that. But anyway guys, that's about it. Let me know what you think of these clues. It was dead easy this month. They should make it so much harder. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these cars, if you're looking forward to them or not. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Foot Surprising Ball content, and I'll see you all later.